Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. Today question similar to the previous questions. Can you use the same method to solve it? Yes, I guess you can, but I haven't tried. This video I will show you the method that manipulates the denominator only. Which means the numerator still the same, x power 3 plus 1. Well for denominator, we can try to factor the terms with x power 3 plus 1. For example, multiply with x power 2, we obtain x power 5 plus x power 2. Similarly, we write another x power 3 plus 1. This time we multiply 2x. That gives us 2x power 4 as well as 2x. Finally, we have another x power 3 plus 1 and then multiply with 2. That gives us 2 plus 2x power 3. And then the integral and the numerator remain the same. While we can further factor the denominator become x power 3 plus 1 and then multiply with x power 2 plus 2x plus 2 and of course dx. Obviously, x power 3 can be cancelled. That gives us integral 0 to infinity 1 over x power 2 plus 2x plus 2 dx. Here we apply another trick. We write the plus 2 become plus 1, minus 1 and then plus 2 back. Which means we can complete the square in the denominator so that it becomes x plus 1 power 2 plus 1. This is integratable which is equal to inverse tangent of x plus 1. Put in value of x equals to 0 and infinity. We have inverse tangent infinity minus inverse tangent 1 which is equal to pi over 2 minus pi over 4. Conclusion of this video, the final answer of this question is pi over 4. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support my channel, subscribe, give a like and share my video in your social media. See you soon for more video. Bye-bye.